expect little more energy. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. So, welcome to a very specific workshop for today, especially for final grade students. But in the end, I just thought that even Thaddeus can also be included into this workshop because very soon they are going to use this uh, very skill for all their assignments in future. Stop talking. Stop it. Get my attention. So, presentation skills for professional students. Let me add a few of my ideas why I wanted to take up this very uh, skill today for interaction and of course for preparation too. The thing is that final grade students are actually undergoing project works. About 200 marks uh, which are going to be added up into that total score. Around those 200, so 50 marks are for internal evaluation and 150 marks are for external evaluation. And those 50 marks for internal evaluation will be judged based on two internal seminars given by every student of final grade student. But I got some feedback uh, while you are doing the first uh, review on your project works. And uh, the HODs and of course the faculty members, they all gave, you know, the first hand experience what they had with all those students when they are practicing or, uh, you know, presenting their ideas on project works. So, see, the key is that for anyone who is a professional, this presentation skills will play an extremely important role in their career. So, so, the ability to present your ideas very effectively in front of a group of people like this, it makes a lot of difference. It creates a lot of value too. So, presentation skills are going to be the most important career skill. What a professional student has to have during his education career, education uh, time period for all those four years. And presentation skills are not just alone like you know, speaking very good English without any grammatical mistakes. There is a difference between communication skills expertise versus uh, presentation skills expertise. So communication skills, they talk about, you know, the grip, what you have over the language. Yeah. But presentation skills are little more different. In the sense that, you know, the skill that you can be adopted to present your ideas more effectively and more convincingly in front of a group of people, it makes not all the difference. It makes all the difference. For example, communication skill is going to be the basic expertise. Or, or which you know you develop your ideas, but presentation skills is like you know uh, fine tuning the concept or fine tuning an idea and how to present it in front of a group of people, but to make them convinced that's going to be the key for everyone because very soon you are going to get into the job sector in the industry settings, in organizations, in many companies, including MNCs. There you will find three types of categories of people. One is that the people who are working along with you, we call them as mates. And people who are working on the top of you, so you may call them as superiors or bosses. And there is one more category who is working under your instructions. They are called uh, subordinates. But for all these three categories, you know, if at all you want to be successful, if at all you want to be successful, you must be able to get the attention of your bosses, your mates and your subordinates. And you must be able to, you know, present your ideas more effectively like the idea of what you are trying to present is going to be the best, the best possible one for the organization. And then, you know, you have to convince people who are working under your instructions like subordinates and to motivate them towards a goal in terms of an outcome of uh, an experiment. So that creates a lot of value for you, that creates, you know, a lot of uh, image for you and that also creates a more number of opportunities for you to flourish in your career. So most of uh, people, you know, they work for organizations, but of course for money, I don't deny on that. But away from that, they would like to have some good promotions and increments, you know, a movement, a forward movement in hierarchical uh, structure of the organization. These are the things what you are going to see in the days to come once you get a job. So this presentation skills, you know, they are very much important. I am not just trying to organize this workshop. Just for you to show your talent in those two internal seminars is not just for that. But it's going to be a life skill. It's going to be a career skill. And once if you get acquainted with this skill, I'm sure that in your professional assignments in future, either in the industry or in the organization, you will create a lot of value and you can, in, you can increase your image also. So for that reason today, I wanted to leave this specific topic. Yes. Probably I've shown you a bow with an arrow here and the eye of the bird. So the message is already given to you, like the example what I generally quote, you know, 
Now, every student has to get that focus, get that concentration to reach the target of uh, you know, getting improved in terms of presentation skills. Uh, so, I expect my student friends to pass learning careers in future and how to design and how to plan and how to execute an effective presentation in front of a group of people. So, all these points will be generally discussed. And uh, of course, within this one of hours, I cannot complete the whole uh, structure of material what I need to cover in an interactive session like this. But still, it's going to be you know, a beginning for all of you to know about uh, systematic presentation skills, uh, what you need to get adapted. Sure. What generally the experts have got that in mind. Okay, look at the first box. How the world is composed of people who have something to say. What's wrong with Now, if you look into the second box, the other half of this world have nothing to say and uh, they keep saying it. So, if you look at the people who are working for different industry sectors in the entire world, you can divide them into two groups. The first group is that they are composed of people who have something to say, but they cannot. Second group, one group, Chapadanki, Yemi Ledu. And they keep saying it. See, these two sentences, you know, they drive the concept what I wanted to interact with all of you. For delivering your presentations in the most effective way, but which is aiming on convincing people and to get a better image, a better image. So, this is the assumption, of course, for most of those experts who studied the society or the people who are working for different industries. But still, the idea is that once if we come to know that you are one among these two groups, instant, I mean, instantly or immediately, we must have to make you know, a forward movement to come out of this group and to create a, a separate intellectual group where you must be a part of it, where any point, any idea, any discussion, any concept, you know, you must be in a very good position to express, you must be in a very good uh, position to demonstrate and you must be in a very good position to attract the attention of people and finally you must have to win, you must have to win. And uh, we are talking about many skills right from the beginning of our you know, interactions uh, for the last 18 and a half months. Uh, so each time I talk about job skills, uh, soft skills and uh, life skills, uh, there are many, of course. You cannot say that this is more important and this is less important or this is very valuable and this is not uh, least valuable. But my point is that every skill importance will be known just based on the situation around you. So as for the situation, a particular skill might be important for all of us to demonstrate and to execute. But one thing is for sure, as far as you know, the behavior scientists of Western universities are concerned, they thought very clearly that these presentation skills are going to be more important than ever in the history of human life nowadays, just because now the globalized you know, companies they are working on collaborative network teams. In the earlier stages, uh, it was going to be an individual's performance. An individual's show, an individual's drive. But now, individual performance is no longer valid. But instead, you must be able to prove that uh, you can be adopted into a team development condition. And you must be able to tell them or prove them that you can work along with the team, but for a specific object of the whole team. And you can also prove that you can really engage your team members to work towards that specific goal. And finally, you must show that you are good at team dynamics and that you are very good at you know, the development of an outcome of a team. So now the teamwork is going to play a very important role. So probably this presentation skills is going to be just connection for it. Like, you know, once you have that ability you know, to express your idea and you can make, you can make you know, people to get convinced with those ideas, I am sure that you will be very specific, very unique in terms of a team settings. I am sure that the superiors will have a close uh, attention with uh, you know, whatever the efforts you like to put in an organization. And that's going to be the beginning point for you to win over the game of uh, the competition. You look at that um, image. A small boy who is helping uh, the rabbit, you know, to make a lift. Probably this training program will also, you know, help you to make one step like this to reach your goal and to increase your efficiency in terms of presentation skills. And uh, that is what it is exactly needed nowadays. Now, by organizing this workshop, training workshop, 
I am actually focusing on an expected outcome which is nothing but you must be able to understand what exactly this presentation skills are and you must be able to design an effective presentation and lastly you must be able to deliver that presentation but in an effective way. It's an effective presentation. Otherwise everything is going to be a presentation. Everything, any any sort of interaction, any sort of you know communication, you know you can call it as a presentation. But to make your presentation very effective, no doubt you need to understand the dynamics behind it. You need to understand the pros and cons of this presentation skills. You need to understand many more scientific elements which were involved into in this presentation skills. Once we have a thorough idea of all these things, and I'm sure that's really going to motivate our students, uh, you know, to work possibly towards those objectives. So this is going to be the promise, what I am just expecting, an, expecting as an outcome for all my students after the completion of this seminar. And let us see how we can go about. Now, let me spend a little time on this. We are talking about presentation skills, right? But the important question it comes to our mind is that why it is important? The first point already was discussed just now because of this globalization of uh, businesses all over the globe. Now the people are working on teams uh, with the different backgrounds, with different educational backgrounds, with different culture, with the different uh, you know, geographical location, with the different environmental brought up, with the different exposure and the list goes very low. Now to work uh, with such a diversified team members, diversified team members, naturally the ability to present your ideas with all your teammates is going to be the key for your success. So globalization puts a lot of pressure on all of you, especially all the engineers who are going to enter into the world very soon. And it is for sure that you are going to join those industries. And it is also very sure that you are going to meet and work with those team members. So now it is you know, very, very, very uh, imperative for all of you uh, to look at the parameters uh, which may decide your success uh, in the coming future. Team members. Uh, now, the students, like all of you, we call it as DIY coding group. Do you know what you mean by DIY coding? Very much? Uh, what is that? Uh, bring your own device, actually. Because it's not only, of course, desktop is going to be one of those devices which you generally use. The people who born after 1990, okay? We call them or the world call them as millennials, you know. By the time you become body plus and you join the industry settings. And this is the group, this is a generation, you know, which use you know more electronic devices for passion and of course for a purpose. Now because now you people are good at using these devices, electronic devices, based on information technology. Now companies are actually watching it as a positive point uh, how to motivate this young generation but by using their own devices but for increment of, uh, for an increase in uh, the productivity in the given organization. So earlier we used to think like it is to be banned, like no one should bring it either to the college uh, you know, or to an organization. Now people came to understand that, came to understand that, that's not a good idea, it's not a good strategy too. And more you restrict, uh, you know, people find uh, more number of ways to escape. So to go to a win-win situation, win-win situation, generally speaking, now companies are encouraging, you know, the people who are working for them, but used by using electronic devices, but uh, to meet the abilities of a given organization. So now everywhere there is a speed. So every